Well, somehow I've ended up with Division 2 of the Commentator Stakes, which is a 1 and a quarter mile 0 to 100 handicap. I've already had one leg of it. This is the second. The top one is Hannah Nelda for Vinnie Gerard, Dame Zenyatta for Paul Rhodes, Terminator. Paul O'Neill, Ringamore Beach, Dan Hughes, Nimrod, Joshua Sutherland, Rugged Gem, Derek Hinton, Total Break, Mark Jones, Top Seeded for Obi-Wan, Warm Embrace for Daniel French, Bon Juvenel for Ryan Costello, Kilimanjaro for Satyam and Regal Command for Martin Leadham. So that's the 12 in in this second leg. I think it's probably on the dirt. No, it's not it's on the turf. You can see them in the stalls. And... Away they go then. Just a little bit slow to go, Dame Zenyatta, but on a wide outside, Ringamore Beach was out pretty quickly, but being wide on the track has not been able to get to the lead, and that leading position is going to go to Kilimanjaro, I think. Now, Kilimanjaro being challenged now by Nimrod, that one always likes to be up to the fore. Warm embraces also in that leading group as well as top seed. So that's the leading four then, and they're already through the first two furlongs, and Nimrod is the leader from Kilimanjaro, second, and Warm embraces third. Top seed is fourth, and a bit of a gap to total break, and the black jacket is fifth, then Terminator in the red and the green, the pink jacketed rugged gem is on the inside, looking wide on the track, Regal Command is just going widest of all, and Hannah and Elder is the back marker who's going to need a really lucky split to get through there. They've just got a little more than six furlongs still to go and they've still got that big long sweeping turn into the short straight and it's Nimrod in the lead from Kilimanjaro and Warm Embrace then top seed in total break and Terminator then Bon Juvenel Dame Zenyatta's after that one Rugged Gem trying to get in it Regal Command wide on the track Ringamore Beach has lost its position Hannah Elder is still the back marker but Nimrod is still the leader being chased by Warm Embrace and Kilimanjaro top seed is going well in fourth total break now making a forward move trying to decide whether they go through the inside or come round the outside immediately boxed in by Rugged Gem though and it's Nimrod in the lead. Nimrod's in front from Warm Embrace and Kilimanjaro Rugged Gem looking for a, a split top seeded coin around the outside. Total Break's going to need a lot of luck from the inside there it looks like it's between this leading group now but it's Nimrod who's in the lead as they race into the final two and a half furlongs. Nimrod's in front now being pressed by Kilimanjaro and top seeded Total Break has finally got a bit of a split and try and burst his way through. Rugged Gem is wide on the track finishing fast it's Terminator but it's still Nimrod in front Nimrod being pressed by top seeded and Total Break they race down towards the final furlong and Nimrod kicks on a bit, bit, bit more. It's Nimrod going on again. But look at this finishing really fast. It's Terminator. Is Nimrod going to be terminated by Terminator? And here comes Warm Embrace as well. They're racing up towards one. It's Nimrod, Terminator and Warm Embrace. And Total Break's trying to get there as well. But it's Nimrod and Terminator. Terminator just. Terminator takes it. Nimrod, Total Break, Warm Embrace. And then top seeded Regal Command was last. And it looked like Nimrod was going to keep on pulling out that little bit more that it needed but Terminator's come through and has taken it and that looks like it could be another one for Paul O'Neill I think learning these new colours and let's wait for the card it is indeed Terminator for Paul O'Neill is the short head winner Nimrod unlucky in second for Joshua Sutherland total break for Mark Jones didn't get a lot of luck in running that one warm embrace for Daniel French was fourth and top seeded for Obi-Wan was fifth.